The queen looks elegant in a Stuart Parvin Air Force blue coat and a matching hat with vibrant orange feathers for Commonwealth service. The queen looked elegant in a Stuart Parvin delicate Air Force blue cashmere coat at the annual Commonwealth service today. Her Majesty, 93, also donned a stylish hat featuring blue, black and orange feathers and a bow design as she arrived for the event at Westminster Abbey. As head of state, the monarch was the final member of the congregation to arrive, preceded by her son Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. Wearing her usual black accessories, including gloves and her beloved Launer handbag, the Queen also displayed the dazzling diamond Jardine star brooch. Beneath her double-breasted airline coat, she donned a silk file printed shift dress in shades of Air Force blue, black and burnt orange, which toned in perfectly with her headwear. Her Majesty showed off a glowing complexion, opting for little makeup other than a vibrant pink lip. She also opted for her usual pearl jewelry, wearing a simple yet elegant pair of studs and a triple string around her neck. Today was the Queen's grandson, Prince Harry's final public royal duty with his wife Meghan Markle before they walk away from the monarchy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex walked in ahead of Prince William and Kate Middleton. The first public meeting of the two brothers and their wives since Megxit was announced two months ago, before Prince Charles and Camilla also arrived. The Queen, who was greeted on arrival by the Dean of Westminster, the very relevant Dr. David Hoyle, then made her entrance to trumpet fanfare and cheers from crowds outside. She is said to be deeply unhappy about Megxit, and the fact the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have opted to leave baby Archie in Canada while they returned to the UK for their final engagements. From March 31, the monarch's grandson and American former actress Meghan will no longer use their HRH styles as they pursue a new life of personal and financial freedom, mostly in North America. The televised service at the Abbey is a key annual event in the calendar for the Queen who is head of the Commonwealth. But this year's ceremony is likely to be remembered for being Harry and Meghan's royal swan song. Their goodbye tour, a flurry of appearances in the UK, has including the Endeavour Fund Awards, a military musical festival at the Royal Albert Hall and Meghan's secret visit to a school in Dagenham, East London, to celebrate International Women's Day. Yesterday they accompanied the monarch for a church service in Windsor. In her Commonwealth Day message, the Queen praised the diversity of the family of nations whose blend of traditions serves to make us stronger. In her annual message, the head of state highlighted how global connectivity makes people aware their choices and actions can affect the well-being of people and communities living far away, and inspires many to be more careful with natural resources. Thank you.